Hi, Lion Cubs. It's Miss Haynes, and Chloe's here today. Chloe was missing reading stories, so she wanted us to read a story for you today. Today's story we're going to read is called Madeline Finn and the Library Dog, and it's by Lisa Pack. This story is really good. It's about a little girl who doesn't like to read. So let's see what happens because it has a really cool ending. Madeline Finn and the Library Dog. And like I did last time, I'm going to read each page and then I'll show you the picture. I do not like to read, not books, not magazines, not even the menu on the ice cream truck. This is Madeline. I'm sure you can see it good. And this is not liking to read. And I especially do not like to read out loud. Keep trying, Madeline Finn, my teacher says. But sometimes I can't figure out the words. Sometimes the sentence gets stuck in my mouth like peanut butter. Sometimes people giggle when I make a mistake. Remember, everybody makes mistakes. I'm sure I will make one while I read this story. And I never get a star sticker from my teacher, not even a smiling face. Instead, I get a heart that says, keep trying. I get a lot of keep trying stickers, but I want the star. So Madeline's trying her best. Stars are good are for good readers, stars are for understanding words and for saying them out loud. But I know what else they're for, stars are for making wishes. So I make a wish for my very own star. There you go. Good job, Chloe. Chloe's being a good listener. I guess wishes take a while because I don't get my star on Monday or Tuesday. Keep trying, my teacher tells me on Wednesday. On Thursday, I say the frog's name wrong. It's Samuel. I get to get away with Sam, but it doesn't work. Friday is no better. Poor Madeline keeps trying to get that star. Tell her, keep trying, keep trying. On Saturday, mom takes me to the library. Hello, Madeline Finn, Mrs. Dimple says. She's our librarian. I don't like to remind her in case she forgot. Oh, I remember, she says. But today we have something special, something you might enjoy. So that's Mrs. Dimple, Madeline's mom and Madeline. Ooh. Madeline Finn, would you like to read to a dog? Look at all those dogs. That sounds fun. Don't fall asleep, Chloe. Yeah, we'll give Chloe a treat so she wakes up. There you go. Mrs. Dimple leads me over to a big white dog. This is Bonnie. Why don't you pick out a book to read to her? She's a great listener. So you, Chloe. Bonnie is beautiful, like a big snowy polar bear. Would you like to try, Mom asks. Yes, please, I say, but not very loud. I think she's excited to read. At first, I'm nervous. I get the letters mixed up. The words don't sound right. But then I look at Bonnie. She looks right into my eyes. She doesn't giggle. I feel better. I try again. Halfway through, I get stuck on another word. Bonnie doesn't mind. She puts her big paws in my lap and lets me pet her until I figure it out. Chloe does that too. She loves to read with you guys. After that, Bonnie and I read together every Saturday. It's fun to read when you're not afraid of making mistakes. Bonnie teaches me that it's okay to show and to keep trying, just like the sticker says. I still don't have a star, but I can be patient like Bonnie. She's all cuddled up reading with her. Listen, 
soon, it's almost time to read to the class again. But when I go to the library, Bonnie's not there. Neither is Mrs. Dimple. Would you like to wait for another dog? The other librarian asked. No, thank you. As I say politely as I can. Don't worry, mom tells me. Bonnie was just busy today. But what about school, I ask. You'll do fine, she says. She just, just pretend you're reading to Bonnie. So she's at home with her mom. She's feeling nervous. On Monday morning, I am very nervous. Madeline Finn, would you like to read next, the teacher asks. Yes, please, I say, but still not very loud. The first sentence goes pretty well. Then I mess up on a word, and then another. I hear someone giggle. But then I think about Bonnie, I take a deep breath and pretend she's right next to me. Next thing I knew, I'm at the bottom of the page. Look at my teach. I look at my teacher and she has a big smile on her face. I did it, I got my star. See, she kept trying, she didn't give up and she got her star. Chloe, wake up. There you go. Okay, on Saturday, we go to the library again. Mrs. Dimple is back. I got my star, I tell her. I want to give it to Bonnie. Well done, Madeline Finn, she says. I think Bonnie might have a surprise for you too. Oh, I wonder what it is. Do you know what it is? Let's see. Oh, Madeline Finn, would you like to read to Bonnie and her puppies? So Bonnie was absent because she had puppies. How cool is that? Okay, last page, let's see what happens. Yes, please, I say, nice and loud. That was a good story. What do you guys think? I thought that was great. This book was actually recommended to me by Mrs. Richardson. So that's an awesome story. Thank you, Mrs. Richardson. All right, guys, Chloe and I say have a great day. Enjoy your Memorial Day weekend. Chloe's gonna look for a belly rub. Oh, there she goes. All right, everyone. You guys have a good weekend. We'll talk to you soon. Hope you enjoy the video. Bye-bye.